Hi, my name is Paul Phoebe. I own and run a business called In-House Design in Lincoln. We sell kitchens, bedrooms, bathrooms and uh, anything else we can sell in that sort of region. Um, I just uh, need to make a few comments on how um, we shape our businesses for the future. Um, we're in a bit of a difficult trading market at the moment and uh, I feel that we've, we've all got to adapt to change um, because the marketplace has, has suffered dramatically over the last couple of years. Um, people's attitudes to spending money has changed dramatically and um, we have got to change with it. Um, we, we can't sort of look at um, trends of, of spending the way we used to. Um, people are making uh, a lot more sort of considered purchases now. I find that I'm having to do a lot more groundwork to sell um, my product. As before, it was very easy. People had access to credit. Um, attitudes were very different and um, they would basically come in here, buy a kitchen and spend quite freely without really thinking too much about it. That has all changed now. I'm having to uh, basically back up my price structures, um, itemise all invoices and quotes and things like that so that people are actually know where their money's going. And uh, I've realised that uh, it's not as easy to sell as it was before. So, you know, we've got to change. We've got to look at um, what we're doing look at the whole of the business, not just the selling part of it, you've got to look at your customer um, service um, part of your business and and everything down to even how your delivery drivers, your staff, people that represent your company out there um, behave themselves really. Um, so yeah, it's it's a harder market and we've got, all got to adapt and uh, and really change to, to satisfy it and um, it's it's hard going but you know the ones that uh, are going to be still around in a couple of years time are the ones that will change and adapt so that's my sort of message and uh, look forward to hearing everybody else's. Hi, I'm Michelle and I run Birdie's Boutique in Lincoln. Uh, just talking about the recession, um, it's not been going too bad. We've been open here since September um, and it has sort of decreased since we opened in 2008, the sales, um, but it's not been too bad really. I mean, we have quite a lot of lower priced items which are very affordable um, to, to all sorts of different people, mainly uh, students. So yeah, it's not been too bad. Um, obviously it fluctuates quite a bit during the month, but overall, okay. So you're coping? Yeah, coping fine at the moment. What about business rates? Um, they are quite high. Obviously it'd be better if they were a lot lower. <laughs> or free. <laughs> yeah, but not too bad. That would obviously take a lot of pressure off the store having to make, you know, that extra money to cover the business rates. They are quite high because we moved from around the corner and it was a bit lower there, but obviously being on the high street is more money. So. Hello, my name is Rod Lambert. I have an antique shop at 6465 Steep Hill, Lincoln, opposite the Jews' house. Um, I've been here for 26 years now, and business is okay, it's steady, but uh, I do rent cabinets out to other dealers, which helps a lot. Um, without that, it would be very, very difficult. Um, but uh, it's the, the recession is, is, has affected me, obviously, it's affected everybody. Everybody that's got a business will tell you the same. But um, it's, we're surviving, we're just about getting by. Um, the biggest killer in this town is the rates. The rates are absolutely ridiculous. You know, for, for the size of this shop, they're absolutely crazy. But um, we manage, we get by. Um, and as a, I must be doing something right, as I've been here, as I say, 26 years. You've seen a few recessions. I've seen a lot of recessions, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Hello, I'm Dorothy and I'm the owner of Bells and Bows. Um, we're on Burton Road now, but we used to be on Newport. When we moved from Newport across to Burton Road, um, purely because of the difficult trading situation we've got at the moment, and Burton Road's a very busy trading area, it's a, a super road to have a shop on. Having said that, um, it is still fairly quiet, so we have to try and make the best of, of every opportunity that we're, we're presented with. Um, which isn't always easy when we're on limited amounts of money that we can spend on produce for the shop. Um, and of course the customer wants a good choice, but we can't off always offer that good choice because we're not selling, so we're not making any money, so we can't buy any more extra clothes. So it's a bit of a, a vacuum that um, most of us little retailers are finding ourselves in. Having said that, we are trying very hard, all of us, to stay um, with our chins above the water level. And certainly all of us on Burton Road here, we all try and help each other um, and send each other customers just to help us all keep going through this really tough time. This has been going on now for a couple of years, really. And each week we try to think positive and think, yes, it's going to get better. And um, it's not showing much sign of doing so at the moment, but hopefully um, it is going to get better as we go into the summer and the weather gets better. The weather has a big bearing on people, never mind the financial situation that everybody else is in. If it's cloudy and dull, people don't want to come out and shop, but if it's sun shining, it makes a great difference. Um, but I still think we could do with a lot of help from the government. They're not helping us little people at all. Um, we could do a lot, lot more support and help from them. Um, my uh, traffic um, uh, customer footfall has dropped and um, having said that the internet side has picked up so as one side goes down the other side goes up which is encouraging um, and I'm a specialist in outfits for weddings and evening um, events so I do evening gowns and hats and so I, I'm more of a specialist type of shop although I do have lots of nice casual things as well um, when people come to me they have a definite idea in their head of what they want to wear. Hopefully I can supply that and anticipate what they want. Not always, but um, we do our very best.